Hello my soccer universe. When I took stock of my collection ahead of the Copa America, I confirmed what I already knew that I have of the 10 Commonwealth teams, I have 8 in my collection. And to confirm the point, I put 7 of these teams on the background and an 8th one I'm wearing here in Peru. And now it is 9. Because a certain company had a sale and I decided to yeah, spend a little bit more and get this ninth team because I think it is the one that you would expect will do a little bit more. So let's unpack this one and then we'll talk a little bit more about that and how close I already was to 10. Okay, parcel is open and let's open it up. You see some red, white and blue popping. Yeah, it is Chile. It is Chile. The one team, the one team that I should not have if it was for my Peruvian family. But the one team that I actually thought, yeah, should always be in my collection. This jersey here, I bought directly from Adidas. They had a sale of the 22 jerseys. Not many were left, but this one sold for a rather reasonable 45 euros. I'm an Adi Club member, so it was also free shipping. So I decided, yeah, this is a brand new jersey for a really decent price. And I actually think it looks quite nice. So let's go for it. I'm gonna open it up and show you some details. And yes, I'm wearing Peru to kind of protect myself from Chile because Chile and Peru, they are not good friends at all. And if some of my Peruvian relatives would know that I have the Chile jersey, now they probably will know, they will not be happy about that one. That's for sure. So here we go. The Chile home jersey from 22 to 23. It was the second Adidas jersey since they took over the contract in 21 from Nike, where more or less Chile said, yeah, you don't, you know, we don't want to have Nike anymore. And I think they broke also a contract with Puma in a similar fashion. It's the first kind of more bespoke version of Adidas. The color, although very standard, I actually do like quite some. There's not too much special about the jersey. Uh, it has the Federation crest here. And I actually do like the sleeves cuffs quite some. I think this is really well done the way that they incorporate the country's colors. Uh, we have on the back La Roja de Todos. So that's a nice touch. And it actually has a very nice pattern on the side. One detail and that's what makes it a little bit more bespoke, but you don't really make it out so much this dotted pattern here, which I think is really sweet and should have probably featured more prominently. Yeah, and the uh, blue patches on the back. That's maybe the one thing I don't like so much about, but this was what Adidas was doing back in 22. But other than that, I think this is a really, show you the tail, a really nice looking Chile jersey, I gotta say. So yeah, nine out of 10. So let's get this one up on the wall and let's look, talk a little bit more about how close I was to 10 actually. So there you go, a little bit shuffling around. We have Chile up there. If I would order it how favorite they are in the Copa America, it would probably go a little bit differently. But I decided to do it this way also. We have only a Colombia away jersey. Yes, a home jersey is in the works. Let's see if I can get one. I just don't want to spend crazy money on it. But yeah, nine out of 10. The only nation that's missing is Bolivia. And I was so close. I remember a couple of months ago, I saw one in Wilhelm, the 2006 version, not the prettiest Bolivia jersey, but a Bolivia jersey nonetheless. I was so close of buying it. I hesitated. And then when I was ready to buy it, it was just two days later, it was already sold hit myself over that because now I could have the South American collection complete. But hey, at least we have Chile and let's see. There should be the winner of the Copa America in there. Don't you think? I don't think a CONCACAF team will do it. So I'm still quite happy with that one. And yes, maybe I could start now collecting some away jerseys, especially for Uruguay. I actually would like to have an away jersey for quite a while but they also have to come at the right price. Any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey, especially the Chile jersey that I just now added. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon, so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.